It's off with you two. I don't think that's what they had in mind when they sent this to me. Hey friends, how's it going? Ash here. Welcome back to Ten Cents. It's that for clone video. And this one comes courtesy to us uh, of Big Beard Business. He did this, keep 10 clone fragrances for life. And I was like, why didn't I think about that? So now, now I did think about that because he thought about that. So shout out to him, link in the description to his channel. Of course, you guys already know him, but that's what we're doing. Keep 10 clone fragrances for life. We got the good stuff. The stuff that, the stuff that if I cleared out the collection, I would uh, keep these bad boys. I have them linked in the description below. Feel free to check them out down there and also feel free to check out these codes that are coming your way now. So what do you say? Let's go ahead and kick this off with a couple honorable mentions because I actually had uh, like 12 originally and, and I felt bad about cutting some of them out and not mentioning them. So honorable mentions, let's do those real quick. The first one is from Codlosh. It's Shiaka Silver, which as of when I'm filming this video, I did a review on this months ago that I still haven't put out. Sometimes you just really don't stay on top of things. Now I will say about this that the presentation is hideous. I hate it. Uh, you'll find this same presentation, it's a stock bottle, in TJ Maxx a lot of times. Like the really inexpensive fragrances at TJ Maxx, they'll share this bottle style. Essentially, it looks like Dunhill Icon if you just smushed it into an oval and also made it cheaper. But uh, the fragrance itself is actually really, really solid. This is a clone of Amouage Reflection, Reflection Man because there's a ladies version, don't wanna get confused here. So for the price point, this is gonna be an absolutely fantastic alternative to that one. And then I, I gotta bring this up, Jean Lo Immortal. And this one realistically would be in the top 10. The reason it's not is because right now, as of when I'm filming, stuff is impossible to find. So if I were having to like repurchase all of this stuff, I probably wouldn't repurchase this one because there were people on eBay asking like a hundred dollars for this. Why are you being so greedy? This was for sale for like 30 bucks at Fragrance Buy, come on. Now if you can find this for 30 bucks, knock yourself out. This is a top notch clone to Louis Vuitton's La Mincite. I, why do I say it like that every time? But <laughs> that's what this is. And it's a really, 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 really good one. Like one of the best clones you are ever gonna smell of a fragrance the quality of Louis Vuitton. So if you're looking for uh, a really top-notch summertime fragrance that's very fresh and uh, juicy, citrusy, but also clean and classy. Get this stuff. But do not overpay. If you pay $100 for that, you, you lost. You're, you're taking the L. If you pay 30 bucks for it or 40 or something like that, now you're doing good. All right, into it we go. I'm gonna kick things off with this one just because uh, you had to know something was gonna pop up from this line of fragrances. It's from Armoff. Club de Nuit, Milestone. Yeah, I think Milestone is just fantastic. The way that this is done, it is a top-notch clone of Millicene Imperial from the house of Creed. And with the price point of Creed doing, doing this, just going straight up and to the right, something like Club de Nuit Milestone that's still available for a very good price becomes so much more attractive. It nails that kind of sea salty, freshness, uh, that fruitiness off the top, and has that that like musky, clean, almost ambergris kind of vibe as well. Just a great clone of Millicene and a perfect fragrance for spring and summer and early fall also. Yeah, that's just, it's it's crazy good. And for me, when Milestone and Siage came out, Club de Nuit Siage, those fragrances kind of put the Club de Nuit line really like right back on the map for me. And I like Millicene Imperial more than Silver Mountain Water, so that's why Milestone gets the nod. The next fragrance is a newer one that I picked up, but it's a great one for the price point. It is Theorem by Rue Bracca. Yeah, Rue Bracca. Which, if you have never heard that name before, is part of Afnon. So you've, you've probably heard of Afnon. Now, this one you can get, as of this video, for about 20 bucks. Uh, technically, it was just under $20 when I got it, and this is a clone of Bulgari's Tiger, which there are very, very many clones of that fragrance out on the market. So what sets this one apart? Well, first off, that price point. <laughs> 20 bucks is a great price. And as has been happening with clone fragrances, the price point is just insane when you smell the quality here. Used to be maybe five, six years ago, a $20 clone smelled like what you would think a $20 clone should smell like. Cheap, big alcohol blast, rough around the edges, not very well blended, all that stuff. And yet this one, 
As soon as you spray it on, you get that super appealing citrus. It's sweet, it's fresh, it's massively appealing. This is an amazing bang for your buck. So I would go for this one. Let's go Latafa with Assad up next. Uh, of course, this is a clone of Dior Sauvage Elixir. And I really dig Dior Sauvage Elixir, so I really dig Assad. One of the more hyped fragrances out there over the past few years, but for good reason. It's got great staying power. It gets very close to the feel of Sauvage Elixir, so you get the full package here. You don't have to spend much. The quality is there. The performance is there. It's just solid. Stuff like this and a couple of the other ones that we're going to talk about have really boosted Latafa up because if you again go back five six years ago people knew about Latafa but it wasn't what it is now like at this point in the land of clones like Latafa and Armaf for most people are right there at the top and this is one of the big reasons why this is just great if you like Sauvage Elixir you're gonna like that next one is from Fragrance World and it's Suits now I thought about the tux thought about the tux, but honestly, when you, you put suits up against the tux, suits is more affordable, it's easier to find, and it's just as good. And if you enjoy a little bit of a sweeter touch to your tuxedo style fragrance, suits will give you that. Oof, yeah, it just smells awesome. It's like tuxedo with a little more amped up vanilla or something like that. It's a perfect fragrance for fall and winter, for evening time, for uh, dates. I thought that the tux was was pretty much it. I mean, I, I didn't see how there could be anything that could really compete with the tux because for the price point, again, just insane how good it is. And then Suits comes out is even cheaper and just as good. So I'd go with that, save myself a couple bucks. But that is not a shot at the tux. That stuff is still lights out a banger of a clone. Next up, Detour Noir from All Horror Main, Layton clone. This is kind of like the first really big, well done Layton clone. There are a lot of Layton clones that have come out since this one, but this one is still, you know, right there at the bottom of the barrel as far as pricing goes. It gets the job done, it smells good. The presentation is hideously ugly, malformed, misshaped, just. Ugh, malformed with misintent. Even on the front, you got the letters just all falling apart. It's, ugh, ugh. But then none of that really matters when you give it a spray and a sniff. Yeah, just really good. Like I said, there's a bunch of other Layton clones out there. I've covered some of them on the channel. Uh, if you're going for one of the best as far as quality goes, just outright, the Woods Collection Dusk is really good, but I still think best bang for your buck is Detour Noir. Something a little bit different up next, it is Vibrant Spicy Tobacco from Amir, which is part of Paris Corner. Yeah, Vibrant Spicy Tobacco. They've got this presentation going on here. What does that remind you of? A little Byredo-esque, yeah? So this one I got in not very long ago at all. I've actually only worn it a few times, which is one of the reasons I would keep it because I have not grown tired of it. This is a clone of Byredo's Tobacco Mandarin. Tobacco Mandarin is a fragrance that I love. I think it smells awesome, quite pricey, but really most of these fragrances are cloning fragrances that are pricey, so that's not really anything unique in and of itself. A clone fragrance of something expensive, what a novel idea. But Tobacco Mandarin is a, a really pleasing, spicy, sweet tobacco that does have a good dose of cumin to it. So it's gonna be a little more divisive than something like Layton or Tuxedo or actually any of these. But for me, I think this is extremely well done, very close to Tobacco Mandarin. Maybe the only difference is this one seems to be a little bit more on the spicy side, a little bit more, whereas Tobacco Mandarin is slightly sweeter, but I'm actually wearing this right now. <laughs> so this is my scent of the day. For the price point, I think it's excellently done. And this whole line is really well done also. I've gotten some other ones from this line. Uh, they're copying Byredo, like I said, any of the ones in this bottle style, it seems to be that's what they're doing. But if you're looking for a Byredo Tobacco Mandarin clone, there you go, right there. Up next, another Offnon Rare Carbon, which is a clone of ombre leather from Tom Ford. And there are other clones of ombre leather. There's amber and leather from Maison Alhambra, which looks really ugly. Actually, it's like uh, just the sloth from the Goonies version of ombre leather as far as the presentation goes. It's like, oh yeah, <laughs> hey buddy, how you doing? Yeah, you're looking good. I like the bag over the head look, that's good. That's kind of that bottle to me. Rare carbon though, uh, pretty nice. For the price point, Bang on, bang on. It smells like an extremely high quality, easy wearing, smooth, sweet leather scent. Yeah, 
perfect. Like ombre leather, you can wear that stuff about anywhere. That's one of the, the smoothest leather fragrances, period. No animalic touch to it, nothing funky, just easy wearing. Latafa again with Kamra. Now this is a, a difficult choice because there are a lot of uh, Angel Share clones at this point that are equally good as Kamra. Kismet Angel is very well done. Uh, Cocktail Intense, really well done. And I actually got one in earlier today that's also just <laughs> really spot on. So at this point, you know, as far as Angel Share clones go, you can rock with about any of the, the big ones and you're gonna be in good hands. They're all gonna smell sweet, boozy, spicy. They're all gonna be compliment pullers. They all leave great scent trails. The only real reason I picked Kamra here instead of the others, which again, you could just give me one of the other ones and I be just as happy is I like this presentation it looks good and it's the first one that really came out and uh, sort of nailed that whole angel share vibe in a clone package and now it's easier to find if this were still being sold out and going for crazy prices like I spoke about earlier with this one then I would say no yeah I'm not gonna pay 90 bucks for this let's let's get that straight but you know now it's available for like what 35 or something yeah I'll pay that Absolutely. Now with this next one, it's Baccarat Rouge 540 time. Had to get one of those in here. If money were no issue, I think I'd do this one. This is Haramein Amber Oud Ruby Edition. It's a clone of the Extrait de Parfum version of BR540. The problem with that one, if you want to call it a problem, is even at discounters, you know, you're typically looking at like $70, even $80 for this one. Now it's got great performance. It smells very well done. It's a great alternative to that BR540 and it is way cheaper than the MFK, don't get me wrong. But if we're just talking bank for your buck and a lot of times with clones, that is frankly what we're talking. I think I'd go this one, which is Ana Abiyad Rouge from Latafa, because this one you can get for like $15 a lot of times, 15 to 20. And that's that's a big difference when we're talking about a clone fragrance. Now, if you're talking about a scent that's like 250, that's a big difference. And I don't have to tell you, that's a big difference price-wise. I mean, even if you're talking about a fragrance that retails for like 250, and then the difference between that and an alternative to it is 195 or something that's that's a pretty decent difference but when you're talking about something that's this low in price it becomes even more magnified the difference so i think you know push comes to shove i would get on an aviad rouge just because of the price difference there it's like i said uh a smarter buy and this is a really good alternative to br540 the original but if price is not an issue go for this one it's a little better overall so i guess if i'm picking one it's this one so this is after the fact, obviously, but after I shot the video, this one popped up at Joma Shop for like 45 bucks. So I just wanted to throw that out there because in the video, I think I said uh, like it was around $80, 60, 70, $80, but it wasn't available on Joma Shop when I made the video and, and now it is. So with this one around 45 bucks, so maybe at that point I would go this one since it is cheaper, but it'd still be kind of a toss up. But I just wanted to throw that out there because the pricing that I said is now incorrect and I didn't want to put the video out with wrong pricing. My bad. Last but not least, we started with Club de Nuit. We end with Club de Nuit with the limited edition of CDNIM. Club de Nuit Intense, man, limited edition. Clone of Creed's Aventus. And for my money, this is the best Aventus clone or alternative that Armoff has made so far. Will they make more in the future? More alternatives, different versions? Oh, absolutely. You got the new Absolute Aventus coming out. Uh, I don't even think they've cloned Aventus Cologne yet, have they? I'm off your slacking. But the limited edition I find to be smoother, uh, better blended, easier wearing than the original Club de Nuit Intense Man. Uh, it smells so much nicer off the top, especially. And so I'd go for that one. I think that's the best overall. Although if you are just wanting to go for the cheapest, most affordable Club de Nuit Intense Man, just get the original. But for me, in this circumstance, I know with this one, I said I'd go for the cheaper one, but for this one, I'm gonna go a little more expensive. So there we go, keep 10 clone fragrances for life, plus a couple extras. I wanna thank you guys for hanging out with me here today. Stay safe out there and let me know in the comments what is your favorite clone fragrance of all time so far. All right guys, see you tomorrow. Stay safe out there.